In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I would recommend that you stop the Gun Bunch meta offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and in today's video you're going to see a completely new defense, something that I've been working on for a little while and something that I think is going to absolutely teach you exactly the defense that can bag the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. Now in this video, we're going to be talking today about how you can get better at Madden and if you want to get better at Madden every single day, we, we upload videos that can help you do just that. So if you want to get access to those, you can click that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Now, before we go any further, I do want to let you know that we're going to be giving you a defense. Now, this is an excerpt of my nickel 335 wide uh, defensive guide. If you have not gotten the nickel 335 uh, wide defensive guide yet, I want to encourage you to do just that. You can get that in the description for just $15. And in my opinion, it is the best defense in the entire game. Now, like I said, what I want to talk about today is how we can go about bagging the gun bunch. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to do the following adjustments. I'm going to go to my coaching adjustments here. And this is going to get really, really in-depth. And so I think you're going to learn a lot in this video. So we're going to talk today about leverage on the defensive side of the ball. It's something that is really, really, really important. And whenever we think about what the gun bunch does best, it floods the outside. You have three receivers and a compressed set. And one of those three receivers will typically go to the outside of the formation. And so one of the things that happens whenever you auto align to default is your corners are going to line up over the top of the bunch receivers. Let me just share with you just a quick example of that. I'm just gonna come out in a standard three, three, five wide. You see here, if I press coverage, you're gonna see that they're gonna line over the receivers. What this allows is if they run a combination, something similar to this right here, you'll see that this corner route is going to have outside leverage and it's an easy outside pass through because the defenders are essentially forced to the inside of the offense. And so the way that we're going to deal with that uh, from this new defense that I've been running is we're actually going to go ahead and use the base align adjustment. This is going to allow basically your formation to align to the base align um, depth. The other thing that I like to do is I actually personally like to turn auto flip off when I run this kind of defense because essentially I want it to look exactly the same every single time. I want to know what's happening before it's happening because a lot of people that run the gun bunch, they like to do different flip tricks. They like to flip to the short side or the wide side of the field or whatever. If you're really worried about that, I would, you, I would just leave this off. I really think this is a really powerful little adjustment. From that point, we're going to put our ball in air defense here to play ball. We're going to put our option defense on conservative. This is to help with read option. And then this is really, really important, our zone drops. How do you build your zone drops for this defensive scheme? Well, I've talked about this a little bit. Well, I've got a new one for you that I think is really, really powerful, especially for gun bunch type of offenses. The first one is 30-yard flats. This is going to help us to stop pretty much every corner route, every C route, every crossing route. A 30-yard flat will stop it. The next thing is a 10-yard curl flat. This is going to do a really good job against things like out routes. It's going to do a good job against curls. Um, it's going to do a really good job against just really underneath type of routes, especially if you get the flat zone knockout ability onto your corners or the mid zone knockout ability um, onto your corners or your linebackers. And then the last zone drop we're going to be utilizing here is a 10 yard hook curl. Now this zone is the new zone and this is the, one of my favorite zones right now in the entire game. I like to use a quarterback spy for a similar purpose to what we used to use the hook curls for, for stopping drags and underneath little concepts. And then I like to use this 10 yard hook curl to really do a good job against things like um, motion slants or post routes, which we're gonna get into in just a moment. So these are the zone drops that I recommend. These are the coaching adjustments. Now, as far as personnel that I'm gonna recommend, first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you've got two plays in your audibles from the three through five wide. So I'm going to hit left trigger, bring up the audible screen, and I'm going to put the cover four show two and the mic blitz three. Now, normally, whenever I defend gun bunch, you're going to see that I'm going to play a lot of cover four show two. That's my primary defense for any type of trips, bun, any, really any type of compression set. I typically will play uh, that cover four show two. Now, defensively, what we want to do here is we want to sub in um, two linebackers at the defensive end positions, and then we want to have as many corners on the field as we possibly can, and then we're going to sub in our safeties at the linebacker position, and that's going to give us the best personnel possible. So from here, I'm just going to come out in the 3 through 5, and we're going to basically almost every time audible down to this cover 4 uh, drop, or not cover 4 drop, cover 4 show 2. But you see right here that if their bunch is to the 
right side, my corner is to the left side because I turned auto flip off. So what I need to do is I always want to run the defense with my corner to the wide side of the field. So an example like this would be, you're just gonna wanna pay attention which side of the field was the ball on, which side of the field is the wide side of the field. Um, in this example, you know, the play went and snapped and we saw that the wide side of the field is to the right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply flip the bunch. The reason I like, or the flip, the flip the play. The reason I like this adjustment right here is because a lot of people that run gun bunch, they will flip their play like this so they'll come out in a play like this, basically. So their bunch comes out, they come out and it flipped. And then your guy is over here. And what happens is, as you're setting your adjustments, then you they'll just flip really, really quickly. And you see how fast the players flip. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you know they're throwing little quick routes and they got you with hard flats or whatever. So that's one little thing that I like to do to kind of help that a little bit. Okay, now let's get into the other adjustments of the defense. So we're going to audible down to the cover four show too. Again, this defense is in my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. If you want to get my entire defensive guide that walks you through step by step how to shut down every single offense in Madden 21, you can get that in the description for just $15. It supports the channel a ton and it teaches you, in my opinion, the best defense you could possibly have. So now that we have a baseline look like this, what this is going to allow us to do is several different things. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put both of our corners in these cloud flats, that 30 yard uh, cloud flat that we talked about. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're simply going to blitz our user just like this. And then I typically like to shift my defensive line in this direction right here and kind of stand right here in case they run the ball. And then the last couple of adjustments is we're gonna spy the defensive end over the top of the tight end right there on the right. And we're gonna put that linebacker that's blitzing into a vertical hook just like this right here. And you're going to see that this is literally going to pretty much bag every concept. You see there, if they try to go with that flood play, I don't know how uh, Rodgers was able to complete that. But if they try to go to that flood play a lot, uh, what's going to happen is you are going to pick them off almost every single time. So let me show you. This is one of my favorite passing plays in the entire game, flood. But if you run this specific adjustment, this out route right there is going right into a linebacker who's actually a safety, and they're going to react really, really well in the zone coverage. Another route that's really popular from Gun Bunch is that um, that corner route to the right sides from from the play mesh. And so I want to share with you, you know, how this looks against that against that as well. So if they run that if they run that adjustment or that 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 play setup where they're basically using this corner route and they motion him out, that's very popular. Because they don't have outside leverage, they can't throw it anymore. You see my guy's right there. If I click onto him, that's an easy interception. Now you might be saying, well, what happens if they what happens if they run something like this play right here, Jets dig? Does that fade route get over the top of that cover four? The beauty of this being the cover four, um, not a cover four drop, but a cover four uh, kind of show two-ish, What's going to happen is if they if they do this, then this is going to happen. So if you watch this R1 receiver, there's no window at which we can throw it, primarily due to the baseline. You see right there, I mean, he got aggressive caught on, but uh, he ended up dropping the ball. You're going to have a player in vicinity, in position, um, to be able to take care of that. Now, one other thing that I do want to hit on just really quickly is if they motion somebody to the outside. So let's say, for example, that they motion, um, you know, they motion this guy. So and they let him set. They have to let him set for it to work. But if they let him set like this, uh, I just want you to kind of show you this concept. If you watch this R1 receiver, you're going to see that he is not going to he I mean, he's tight. It's a tight throw. That's going to be a click on interception more than likely uh, with this setup. You don't have to do any man coverages. You don't really have to do any of that because of how good of a job this is going to do. If they go vertical, um, if they go vertical for a second, I just want to show you. So let's say R1 goes vertical and circle goes vertical, right? Both of them. If you watch how this play is going to work, you're going to see that the circle receiver is going to get matched. And you see right there, my guy is going over the top to play him. The left side guy is going to basically uh, put himself in a really bad position. Now, another route that I wanted to show you how to defend um, is this motion over slant from mesh post. It's a very popular route. Uh, a lot of people like to use this. And so what's going to basically happen here with this slant is you're going to sit on that for just a minute. But if they throw that right there, that there's a good chance. There's a very, very good chance that that could be an interception based on the way the defense is going to play that. 
Let me show you this one more time. And again, remember, you're gonna be kind of sitting right here with your user anyway, but I just want you to kind of see these motion over slants, this 10 yard hook uh, curl is going to do a pretty decent job against this motion over slant right there. You see, he's like right on it. And then he's gonna come up and he's gonna make a tackle and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. This specific defense is going to limit a lot of what the gun bunch users like to do. Another example uh, of this would be this play smash return. So let me go over this real quick. This is another one of those uh, corner routes that's really, really effective to the tight end. You might see something like this combination right here. But if you watch this X receiver, it's really not a clean window to be able to throw it. The other thing that this is really cool is what's going to happen is you're going to see that from time to time, the, the biggest thing that people are going to do to you in Gun Bunch, especially at this point in the season, is you're going to experience a lot of rolling out. They like to roll out and try to throw these corner routes. This is the primary reason why we have this guy on a spy, because most people at this point in the year know how to get double teams and, and basically be able to get out of the pocket. And so what's gonna happen is if I'm trying to roll out with this corner right here, um, I'm just gonna, whoops, I'm just gonna click in my, click the right joystick in uh, to send my spy. As soon as I see, as soon as I see him rolling out, that's gonna be my adjustment. So let me, let me back up here and uh, let me shift back to where I was at. I got a little uh, messed up on my buttons here, but let's just watch uh, how this is gonna work. So again, here's the defense just like this and then smash return. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. You see the spy is going to follow us, and we're throwing right into a really, really powerful zone over there, that 30-yard cloud flat. What you want to do is as soon as you see them rolling out, as soon as you see them rolling out, that's really where you want to send this. So, again, it's kind of hard to show with two controllers, but if you just if you, if you you take a second here and just check this out, so as soon as, it, as soon as he snaps the ball, if he starts rolling out, I send him at this point. See, I can't wait I can't wait, and it's a tight bang bang play, and that's really the only route that they're gonna have open. Now, if you really wanna stop that, if they're running it, and it's just a big, becoming a big problem for you, then what you can simply do is just lower your, lower your cloud flat to 25 yards, and they'll take that away. But that is exactly how I would recommend you stop the bunch. Another reason why I really like this, I'm gonna grab one more play to explain this concept. Another reason that I really, really like this defense for this, uh, for this type of offense is because of the, the, the bunch trail problem. In my opinion, the bunch trail is one of the most powerful plays from the bunch. And the reason why um, is just because of what that play specifically can do against cover two and cover four. However, whenever you play this in a match defense type of uh, situation, you're going to notice that this cover four, because it's a cover four quarters style of defense, um, they're not going to play the same, uh, meaning that the defense itself is not going to play the same. So I want you to watch a square receiver. You're going to see here that he's not going to watch right there. See how they turn and run with him? See that right there? That is that is huge. That is a major, major deal. I want to just kind of take a second and highlight this because this is absolutely huge. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch how this plays. I'm going to show you another play that's going to contrast with this. And this is why this defense is so good. So you'll see on this, you'll see if you watch this corner here, I just want you to kind of watch how this plays. He's backpedaling, backpedaling. There's no other vertical route over here. So what this guy does is he is a cover four quarters inside quarter, meaning that he's gonna match onto him. So if you watch, he's matching him right now. At this point right here, he has matched the, matched the player. And as you can see, we've got this, this post route is completely taken away. It's not a possibility to be thrown. Okay, but now I want to show you cover four drop. I brought that out from the 335. So we're going to play the same exact, uh, same exact adjustment from that cover four drop out of the 335 normal. And I just want you to watch how this is going to work out. So again, we're just going to set up kind of a similar route combination, uh, something just simple like this. And if you watch, you're going to see that this inside quarter is not going to follow. Now the other side did in that example. The other side did in that example, but it doesn't always happen. Let me um, let me just kind of spy the defensive line here just so I have enough time to be able to throw this and show you the routes. When you go cover two on the outside from a cover four drop scenario, it's not the same as going cover two or go, going to that from a different scenario. So again, you'll see here, I'm just going to roll out. And that right there is the issue. And that's what makes bunch trail so good because against cover four or against cover two, 
it really kills it. So then what people have to do is they have to go to cover three, which we all know that if you go to cover three, so if I audible here to Mike Blitz three, and I'm just gonna flip the play just so it's a, a better example. But again, if I audible to Mike Blitz three, then what they're gonna do is they're just gonna run this Jets dig play and basically are gonna roll out and they can hit this, this deep route. Right there, I didn't get a good example, but it, it would it, it's open, trust me, it's, it's an easier read. Um, it's the same thing. Let me just show you a little bit more detail here. Um, so if they do this from cover cover three, um, again, I'm just going to spy the defensive line just because I want you to see. So this is cover three. We've got a lot of zones on the field, but this is basically cover three. Um, it's the good kind of cover three for a gun bunch. And if you watch right here, if you just watch this R1 receiver, you're going to see that he is going to absolutely torch this defense. Over the top, easy dot, one play score. So the problem is you can't run cover three because if you run cover three, then this is going to happen, right? You can't run cover two because if you run cover two, this is going to happen. You can't run cover four because if you run cover four, they're going to get one play touchdown. And so then where, where does it leave you? It leaves you running a defense like this. It leaves you running Mike Blitz three where your flat defender is coming from the inside of the defense. The reason that this is an issue uh, is if you take a look and watch what happens. So this is the defense right here. And what I've had to do is I've had to deep half. So I have to deep half that side so that I don't get burned over the top. So then what's going to happen is you're going to see right here, this corner at the circle, because he has so much leverage now, I'm going to be able, and I didn't get it, I didn't get a great animation there, but I'm going to be able to throw that pretty consistently. Let me show you that one more time, but I got to flip the play here. And this is the problem that, this is, on honesty, this is this is the problem of Gun Bunch. In my opinion right here, what you're, what you're about to see is the problem of Gun Bunch. They have to play deep pass on their outside players. So they have to take their corners and they have to have their deep half corners. Now, more than likely, they would be something like this right here. They wouldn't be base aligned. But again, this is what it looks like. So what that's gonna what what that's gonna mean for the for the offense is when they go to something like this mesh corner setup where they have a corner route, look, if they just wait on it a little bit, they're gonna have a pretty good shot. I don't know why Jair Alexander's going crazy. Um, he's not supposed to, he's supposed to be going back. If he doesn't go back, that's a touchdown to the slot streak. So let me just show you that one more time. And again, I'm gonna try my best to just kind of get the adjustments. This is this is what people will do. This is how people will defend Gun Bunch. Um, this is kind of like the safest way to defend it is to use these deep halves on the outside. That's like the primary thing, right? Use the deep halves on the outside. The problem with the deep half, because it does take away this route right here that the Jets did. But the problem with this, and this is where the kind of chess match comes in, if I deep half these corners, Either the tight end or this circle receiver right here are going to get open on this motion. You'll see if I just wait long enough, and he's just – Jair Alexander is kind of screwing up the point because he has that deep out KO. But typically that's going to get open. Let me show you smash return. And I know the video is going a little bit long, but I just want to really give you an in-depth uh, understanding as to why I like to do this. So, again, we're going to go to uh, Mike Blitz 3. We're going to do all the adjustments necessary to stop – the deep routes and still play good able coverage. So you see here, deep halves. So if I go to this play here, um, smash return, and run a combination like this, if you watch this X receiver, you're gonna see he's gonna get kind of in this really soft zone, just like right, right there, because the zone is inside of the receiver. The leverage is to the receiver that has the receiver to the outside. That's why you can't do that. This is why the cover four show two from the 335 Y because of the matching principles of the two inside safeties, they take away everything that you can do uh, in, in the vertical realm of passing. So if I, sh if I shift over here back to the defense I want you to run, and I do the following adjustments, you're gonna see now I'm base aligned, so I still have outside leverage. I also have uh, this vertical hook that's gonna do a really good job against little hitches, little underneath routes. I've got a QB spy on that side as well, and we're gonna look something like this right here. And now the only thing that is even possible that can get open is routes on the left or uh, routes over the middle. So for example, let's say they run mesh post. Well, because I have this spy, because I have these underneath zones, I can be free to drop back on this zone right here. And as you see, we're able to take everything away. This is why this is the best defense in the entire game for Gun Bunch. Gun Bunch will struggle to move the ball against this defense. You might have to shift your cloud flats depending on the routes that they like, if they like motion crossers, or if they like C routes, or if they like, you know, whatever that is, you might have to shift them down to 25. I start with 30, 
and then I move backwards as opposed to starting with 25, giving up a one play touchdown and then moving up. So I start with 30 and work backwards. So if they're running, for example, if they're running um, bunch trail, like I was talking about, um, you know, maybe they're doing something, uh, something like this right here, right? Where they have this combination. So if they're running something like that, where they like are trying intentionally uh, to get a shorter corner route, then what you're gonna see here, if I can get my setup in, what you're gonna see is this corner route's the only vertical route, but I just want you to watch. So we're smart running. It's really shallow corner route. Because I've got that 10 yard, 10 yard, you see he's kind of there. He's kind of there. And if you have flat zone knockout or mid zone knockout on that player in a zone coverage, you're gonna get the stop about eight times out of 10. 80% of the time, that's an interception. And that's the beauty of this, uh, that's the beauty of this defense, honestly. Um, this defense does a great job against short and wide side bunch. It's just, it, it really is just the best defense, uh, in my opinion, for Gun Bunch. It just does such uh, such an incredible job. It's the best defense that I've been able to come up with all season. Um, and it's just, it's really good. As, as long as the one rule is if they roll out, you've got to send a spy. If they roll out, you've got to send the spy. If you don't send the spy, you're going to be screwed. But as you can see right there, there's Bunch Trail again. And like I said, 80% of the time, it's an interception. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I hope it really showed you what I would recommend doing against somebody that's running a lot of gun bunch. Um, in my opinion, this right here is probably the best way to defend them. There's some things that the offense can do to get open, but the majority of those come from some kind of like deep post route, which you can use her with your user because you have the whole middle of the field. The middle of the field is your responsibility. You've now empowered those quarters to be able to match properly and do a really good job. So check this defense out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the full defensive guide, you can get that down in the description for just $15.